My name is Victor Reyes. I'm a painter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I paint. Uh, I started doing graffiti in like 1994, mm -hmm. and then slowly developed into like murals, and then what we now know as street art. It's been uh, the agreed upon term, and then uh, in that process, I had had made paintings uh, for fun and for interest, and uh, probably about like eight years ago, I started really taking it seriously and started just developing that process and kind of like phasing out the fact that I used to paint outside and that's kind of like my original discipline mm -hmm. and now I just do that I make paintings well, all types of things mostly like life experience um, I worked for a long time in like the workforce you know I worked as a valet I worked as a janitor as a doorman, as a bartender, as bar back, as a delivery man, and um, you know, just those kind of like menial jobs, those menial tasks. Um, I don't know, some kind of weird zen about them. You know, you're being servile, but at the same time, you're serving a function. So I would just always like, like uh, matriculate through the jobs. Like eventually I was unemployable, not because I was bad at it, but because I was just, I had kind of like beaten that game. So I was, you know, someone would always grab me and be like, hey, you want a job making more money doing this? And eventually that happened with art too, where it was like, well, I don't need to like, you know, do busy work anymore. I can just work on this. Mm -hmm. And the whole time I was doing it, I was pursuing my, my uh, drawing and painting abilities. And, you know, that's just how I did it. I think the term street art is loaded. I think it's like an agreed upon term that where we can like all identify with the culture of what is essentially like outsider art. Um, really, I just boil it down to like graffiti because it's a Latin word. It's been around for a very long time. Um, and basically graffiti is just the art of the people. You know, it's about people. There's a lot of dedications in it, whether it's like mom or like rest in peace. And it, it goes from pedestrian, which is like, you know, bathroom urinal graffiti to like graffiti art like an aesthetically like self-representing I was here I exist and you hear that voice mostly from the poor you know and I think it's interesting because now that there's a whole industry built up around it like designer spray paint and um, it's generally accepted you know you see it like in kind of dorm room art the Salvador Dali has been replaced by the Banksy and um, posters and uh, <clears throat> or Shepherd Ferry, I should say, and uh, you see it in that way, so it's socially accepted. But so it's kind of been taken away from the people. And as a kid, it was the easiest way to give myself permission to be an artist because even at fourteen in 1994, I knew institutionally, like I was on the bottom end. I wasn't going to go to Yale or Harvard to, to study art. Um, just wasn't in in like the possibilities or the realm of possibility for me at that time and uh so i think street art is kind of a loaded thing where it's like we can all say what it is but i think it kind of also takes away from what graffiti really is which is it's it's the people's art it's folk art it's a naive art that's passed from one person to another i learned it from a friend who learned it from his friend and it's community based it's really tribal and and, and it's like because of the internet and because of like marketing, it's become ubiquitous. And so it's kind of a long-winded ex explanation that it's essentially the people's art and it's for the people and it's a democratic form of art. It's not made by institutions, but ironically it's become an institution. So I think making art outside is has a lot of different um, nuances now. If you say of a street artist, think of like someone with a projector and a stencil and you know a whole team, and it's probably going to be for Red Bull or something like that, and that's fine. But then you think of a graffiti writer guy who's like kind of provincial, maybe even a little scary, and you're like, why are you doing this? And they're like, it's all I have. So I don't know. I think it's like a big spectrum. But I guess the original question was, yeah, working outside on big scale in the uh, what are they in the extremes or the, the outdoors you know it's cold or it's like you're in an alley that smells bad or like you know someone can walk up to you and be like I don't like that kapow it's just it's just a different experience it's a good way to collect experiences and I think we were talking earlier and I was saying about like you know great writers like you know 
uh, Steinbeck. It's like, now that guy called, like, experience from life. And then he wrote about it. And, you know, it's interesting. Because he's sharing his humanity. So, I don't know if street art necessarily shares humanity in the same way that graffiti does. And I don't know that graffiti is exactly the best explanation of humanity because it's kind of finite. But I think they're all interesting ideas. Uh, yeah, I mean, California is kind of its own place. Like in graffiti, like there's the West Coast and there's the East Coast and then everything in between. It's kind of like they don't really have um, – they have some scenes. Chicago has a little bit of a scene, but it, it was really kind of like – smashed down by the by the city um but yeah california is like the west coast graffiti kind of mecca and uh because it's on the west coast and yeah there's a huge community there's tons of people and it bleeds out into street artists and people like shepherd ferry you know he's a great guy he graffiti guys get in trouble and he donates money to their their legal defense you know he's a good dude but it, it, there's a huge spectrum there's it's like it's a big big fraternity or family of people yeah uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a lifelong member. I'm involved. Uh, I have friends that still rattle the saber and love to paint graffiti. And, you know, I myself have kind of put it out to pasture so I can pursue painting and, like, more intellectual studies, I guess I would say. Stuff I didn't do when I was a kid, probably when I should have done when I was 18, but I just was, like, living life. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I, on occasion I'll paint something, but, like, I tend to not just because I feel like I said what I had to say and now I'm trying to write a new chapter oh this painting it's like a graphic image um I call it like a revolution or like a revolution pattern and it's, it's I mean it's kind of almost Fibonacci like a, a golden ratio in a sense and it's like the idea that um time isn't linear you know it's like more like the multiverse physics idea where it's like time is kind of on top of each other instead of like you know we were here and we went to here it's like no nah, it's all kind of like right here um anyways but yeah so i it's like a measurement of, of time no I, I think like it also like you know even though i have maybe have like um, a specific way i identify with it that winds me up to make the thing and that's kind of like why I go back to the image. Like a lot of times, I think we were talking to, and I was like, you know, people have to explain themselves as artists, but it's like, it takes so long to even understand yourself as a human being. Like, like you know, you start making art maybe when you're like 18, 20. I was lucky I made, started making it really early. And it took me as long, as old as I was, to as long as I started. So I'm 14, took me I was 30, even realize like, why do I keep going back to this? You know, it's like there's a therapy aspect to it, but there's not a lot of, you know, you know, in therapy, you can actually, you have someone to help you regulate the fact that you keep going back to these same stumbling blocks. But, but in art, you know, I mean, that there's just time. So you, you have to, like, go back and visit older work. And you have to kind of be like, why, why am I stuck on this? What does this mean? You know, and sometimes it doesn't mean anything super deep. And sometimes it, it, it's only deep to you or it's only significant to you. So it's hard to always explain that away. But. I guess I get lost, but that that, that stuff uh, helps me to understand like what it is I'm doing, you know. Time, again, back to time. Yeah. Oh no, because I think it's like it's also it relates back to just like super flat painting, you know, which is like a trope. It's like anyone can do it. So it's like there's like the nucleus of the idea, and then it's like the execution is like in the vein of like what we know as art. So like when people see it, they're like, oh, it must be art because it looks super flat and I understand that's a thing. I don't know. I quit. <laughs> I know, I just, you know what? I did it forever and there was no audience and then there came an audience and I was like, oh, this is weird. You know, and I, I, if it just, it turned, the community turned more like into a sorority or like a not a sorority it's like a jamboree or something it was weird it got weird you know it was less about antisocial outsiders than it was about like let's build a community around this and i was like that's so weird you know after having been like participating in it for almost 20 years i was like this i can't i just can't get into it you know
is such a like individualistic thing. Like imagine a bunch of super individualistic, like I know the way people having a hard enough time just even congregating, but then like that whole mentality just upending and people being like, no, no, we all don't know the way together. You're like, what? That's crazy. You know what I mean? So I was like, it just, it, it totally flipped upside down. I was just like, I, you guys have fun at this party. I'm just gonna kind of go out the side door, you know, cause it's like, maybe I had my time doing it and it was great. And it's like, maybe it's gonna be great for them to have their time. Um, that's not what I study anymore. Like I've, I've like literally checked out, you know, cause you're talking about artists. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, I like, you asked me what I like. And I said, I like, you know, these are some of the handful of 30 or so artists I like at the moment. And then, you know, we were talking about arts. So I, I really just, I've just totally like turned that channel off and like got into something completely related, but unrelated. So I'm sure it's wonderful. I'm sure what they're doing is great. I just, I don't check in.